strong, body strong. Try to find equilibrium. Head straight, screwed on. We screwed up for too long. I don't wanna leave on the waves. I watch the storm. How much did you pay for the sheep? Three, four, two fifty for the sheep. Yeah, call it eighteen hundred for the for the knife and sheep. One eight zero zero. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm. I'm sorry, it's okay. No, 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 it's all good. Hey, smile. <laughs> Some of David's awesome work. Sam's awesome work. We had 13. The show has yet to even open the doors, and we're down to six. So, so far, another awesome blade show. Sorry, guys. Thanks, man. You're the good looking hot chick, and here is beautiful Grace. How are you, sweetie? Good. He is at the booth. All right, we're walking to the door. Opening day of the Blade Show. In about 10 minutes, a couple hundred people are gonna come flying through the door and mob this place. So this is this a quick swing. I thought it'd be coming at 12:30. These are all vendors, all set up. Yeah, we'll go out here and look at the mess. Okay, this is the hall. Welcome back in. Dan Favano, say hello Sir. again. Hello. hello. Show him the knife. Show him the knife. Knife of the show here. Yeah. And Sam Larkin. Yeah. K bar style combat. The, who, who got you that knife, Dan? What's that? Who got you that knife, Dan? I'm loving it. Macho. So who got that knife for you? Oh, you, brother. <laughs> you. Thank you. <laughs> Call the provider. 
able to provide. All right, we're walking back in. Thank you, Dan. All right, this is the path into to the Diskin booth. Again, the doors have not opened yet. This is the people that are in here already. These are vendors. These are people working the show. Here's the great Joe. Let me say hello. Hey, Don. Say hi. Hi, Joe. And Don. Hey, Joe. Great Don Hanson. Good to see you. Love you guys. Love you, Joe. Oh, wait, there's Goody. Hello, Goody. Buddy. How many knives do you have left, yeah. Goody? I, I'm sold out, my friend. You shouldn't sell your knives, <laughs> Goody. Okay, we're swinging around. All right. And here is the Diskin USA booth. We've got an awesome amount of people in the booth. There's David Morabi. There's Chad, who's awesome. There's Beg. Hey, my buddy. handsome brother. Good good. Good. What's up, lover? How you good doing? Good seeing you, you brother. Too, bro. Good seeing you. Yo. Yes. It's beautiful, man. You know about that, buddy? It's gorgeous. Let me open it. Open it. Hold on. Can't touch it. Don't touch it. The Fabergé egg. Oh, that's beautiful, man. Look at that. And this is the great Mark Fag, man. Look at him. He's awesome. All right, awesome. All right. You're Diskin USA booth 2018. I wanted to video this night real quick because I'm almost sold out. This was my favorite color and variant for this show. My buddy Mike just bought it, but it couldn't have went to a better guy. This is the knife I was going to take home. I can't now. So this is Matt's double action auto for the show. It is most refined version yet. M390 blade steel, titanium chassis, titanium through hardware, thrust bearing. Open it like this, simple. Boom. An awesome knife. This was a bronze one. Again, Diskin USA, late 2018. Thanks, Mike. You're welcome. You should demo the opening by hand manually, too, maybe. You turned off already? Nope. Okay. Keep going. Oh, and also, you can open it manually. Hey, McDonald. I see. I see. I see. There's Matt Gregory. Sean. <laughs> Adam. I don't know that dude. There's great Sam Lurkin. Sam hates video. <laughs> David Morabli. That is some beautiful. And his. Oh. Super dick. Super dick. Kirby. The great Mr. Lambert. You got a knife on you? Uh, no. Question. No, I don't. Pull out your knife. Let me see your knife, Matt. Show your knife off. Come on, you're wasting film like footage here. Move one. faster, man. No, not that one, the good one. The gun. Come on. You guys are bad shit. All right. Or do you prefer to go by War Dog? I, can, I never can tell. Very nice. Sam, or do you prefer to be called Correct War Dog? Very I nice, never, man. I never know. Right. What's the steel? <laughs> CPM 3B. Beautiful knife. Carbon fiber, feels. carbon fiber lace, gray skin, magic. Beautiful stuff. That's my now, Rick, to the food service industry now. Rick's going to bring a knife over later. Yeah, it's getting photographed right now. Yeah, that's that's mine, but the handle's a little too big for me. And I kind of gave my part, too. That's your mine. Late 2018 Diskin USA booth with Dan Keffler. Hey, nice to see you, Joe. Good to see you. Dan is one of the best cutters in the world, if not the best cutter. Dan has a variant of his Super Assassin. Dan, take it away, tell what it is. All right, what we got here is a prototype. It's a change of version of the Super Assassin. We're looking at a, a blade that's CPM 3B steel. It's a 21 inch blade. It's got a 15 inch handle, so we're 50, or 36 inches overall length. So the change with this blade is adding a different grind here to, uh, to reduce weight. 
And what we've done is we've made this this whole piece weigh two pounds, five, uh, two and a half pounds, basically. So this blade has been able to keep the power of the Super Assassin and chop two by fours in one hit, but then also have more speed to cut light targets like ping pong balls and empty water bottles or whatever you come up against. And so the handle construction is a Tarot Tough Core. We're encased in carbon fiber and then wrapped with um, with paracord with, with, for grip. And then the fittings are all 6-4 uh, titanium with a Fuji, Seppa, and Suba. And then we've got a very sharp tip, slight curvature, slight sore in the blade. So, so this blade is so far proven to be one of the most versatile cutters that I've ever made. It just has a lot of capability. If you understand how the sword works, you can make this cut really heavy targets and really light targets with less effort. It has one-handed operation capability and then two-handed. You can choke up, that that color. I kind of want that because we really need to get more got power. Got rid of all those? We never had one. So uh, definitely going to move into offering a version of this piece uh, in a more refined well, after you know, prototype phase. Off to, uh, and that's all I've And I didn't realize that was the last one. We it was a pleasure, like brother. Thank you, man. So, yeah. My brother Mark Begg that's right here. Mark, what do you have in your hand? Talk. This is the new Osteo with Star Strike and Mokume. I'll come into you. This one's kind of beat up because I carry it. Beautiful. How's the show, brother? It's going great, man. Good times, good times. Thank How you. About you. We're live, we're good. Play 2018, Discon USA from here with Kurt and Sam Lurkin. Kurt is an awesome patron of the arts. Comes out every year from California. And great dude, real pleasure to hang out with. Sam is Sam, world famous. Thank you. Nice big man. Kurt just picked up this piece, so hold it up. So Sam came with about 18 knives, they're pretty much gone, but I just wanted to shoot a quick hello. We love Sam. He's always looking around. Kurt's a good dude. Thank you, Kurt. All right, Blade 2018, Sam Lurkin. Show. Good, very good. Tell us about that knife and hold it up so I can see a little bit. Let me back up. Talk loud. This is a little over 10 inch buoy with a uh, uh, leather Damascus uh, W's pattern, the mosaic S guard, and a maple pearl handle. It's beautiful, Eric. Thanks, man. Always love seeing Eric. Eric's my buddy. Thank you, brother. Good seeing you. Appreciate it. Cool. Okay, Microtech group. For 40 minutes, he has not moved from that position to come. What's up, brother? I get it. Sorry, man. Thanks, hello. Hello, am I supposed to do something magical? Do something am I good, Hank. Right. Do something Say good? Mike, Tech Crew, Hank Greenberg. Am, am I Hank's bell plus the lots. There's Tony right there. Tony, wave to me. What's up, man? Wave in. There's my boy. All right, good. Thank you, guys. All right, I'm here at SK Knives and Tie Connector. These guys share a booth with us. They're awesome. There's his lovely wife, who's very shy. There she is. These guys sell some fantastic stuff. I just got a set of their very cool, sorry, guys. Titanium chopsticks. Here's my set. Steve's gonna give a little demo. Say hi, Steve, quick. Hi, Steve. And he's gonna give a little demo on these beautiful, beautiful boy oh, I just got there. So basically, a two piece chopstick. Screw together in the middle. Yeah. 
ready to impress even your best sushi chef. Awesome. Thank you, my friend. Always a pleasure. Have a great day. The great Paul Long and Matt Diskin. Sorry, Matt. Say hi, Paul. Hello. Hi, Paul. It's not a really good play. You just got, I think, one of the last Diskin double actions, didn't you? Yes. Do you want to demo it for us? You have it in your pocket? Vic, I'll be. You can do the And Paul Long. Look at these two. Look at these two. Young. No, look at these two. Crazy young. Hey, that's one of those stabilizing things. It is. Look. All over, Paul. Here, demonstrate. You have the neatest okay. toys. Go ahead, ready? There's the disc and double action on the show. Man, that is smooth. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Vic. You like the knife, Vic? Love it. Love Thank it. you. It's my number three. <laughs> my number three day carry of Matt's. <laughs> Okay, Blade 2018 Diskin USA boot with the great Gavin Hawk. Hey, Joe. Hi, nice Gavin. To be here. How are you? Good. Gavin is probably one of your most inventive, intelligent makers, and I know it doesn't look that way, but he is. <laughs> Thanks. Only kidding. You're Gavin. So full of Gavin. Wonderful <laughs> com compliments. Thank you. Gavin is a genius in mechanisms, just like his dad. I mean, they're just. They've been killing it in the industry for so many decades that the name Hawk is synonymous with new, inspirational, and cool, original designs. Are you for hire, Joe? I am. <laughs> Gavin, show us what you got in your pocket. Okay. So we've got the, Talk loud. the new Model B Deadlock. Uh, it's a little bit smaller than the Model A. Uh, obviously, it still locks up solid. Uh, a little bit smoother action. Marbled carbon fiber, titanium. Uh, I've got a new pocket clip, so just a, a standard machine pocket clip. Uh, yeah, that's Good the uh, Model B. So again, and this is called the Deadlock. Correct. And it is an awesome out the front. Oops, that way. Beautiful work. Anything else, Gavin, on you? That's all I brought. I didn't know we were doing a video. Blake, Next time, I'll bring 2018 <laughs> Gavin Hawk. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, Gavin. Yeah. All right, I'm here with my brother, David Mirabli. David's had the best year, Forge and Fire winner, killed a couple big projects, an awesome job. This is a piece David did for the show. I don't know what you call this, what would you call this? Dangerous. It is. <laughs> call it dangerous. Of all the fighters, the big fighters I've played with at the show, this is my favorite this year. It is wicked, it is wicked fast. It is a snap cutting monster. It's just, it, it's, I love it. I don't know where he gets the inspiration for this, but his innate ability to build the most terrifying, awesome weapons. David, great piece. I also had, no, no, you're not done. Hold that. We've got a couple other pieces in the booth. We've got a nice Tonto by Dave, right there. Turned out beautiful. And we've got an Akuchi buoy that, who's is this? Sam. This is Sam Lurkins, one of David's Akuchi buoys. And we have my favorite, my little combat utility from Mirabli. I've been carrying this everywhere, just a fantastic piece. Awesome. Thanks to Scurvy for videoing for me. I appreciate it. Thank you, Joe. Thanks, brother. I'm at the great John Horrigan's booth. Where's all your knives, John? Uh, the one is in judging, and that's all I got. That's all I got. Pick that up, sir. How you doing, John? I can't complain, Joe. Show me the knife. How was your trip out here with Paul? Very long, long, long. <laughs> 
This is the brave man that drives Paul Long out here every year. God bless him. Hold up a little higher in your chest. Describe what you got there, brother. It's a little, uh, little best movie, 300 layer, West Texas wind, mammoth ivory, gold pins, fully engraved. Twist it up so you get the light twist this way. Right there, perfect. Gorgeous. John, thank you, my friend. Thank you. Not a problem. Sorry, man. As long as, you, as long as you steer clear of that case, I you're won't all go good. near that case. All right. All right. I'm at Carl Anderson's booth. Love Carl. And what I'm showing you today is, is Coma. That's K O M A. Coma. And Coma is the knife that bit me. She's the one. Give me 10 stitches in the raw. Tell me a little about the blade. Coma is a completely hot blued, high layer, tight, single twist, fighter, hot blued guard. I'll come to you. End grain, spalted maple. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Take down? Take down with a secret passageway. Gorgeous. Coma, the one that bit me. <laughs> Carl, has Blade been good to you? You sold out? And it's um, been real good. I sold out this morning, and this was one more. Hold it up high so I can get it with your face. It's going, going away. Oh, that's a beautiful laminate piece. San Mai, 1095, 410 stainless. Gorgeous. African blackwood. Thank you, Carl. You Always bet. a pleasure. Good buddy. to see you, Joe. Thank you, sir. See ya. Hello, Koji. I like it. Beautiful. You guys want to say anything? <laughs> hey, <Al. laughs> <laughs> you see, know where he is? Very nice. Thanks, guys. Thank Appreciate you. it, man. Have a good day. Say hello. Hello. To my little friend. Here's the great Steve Delac. Hey, my friend. how are you guys? Steve is just Steve. quite a wonderful thing. I got Steve that Sam Larkin last night. Excuse me, guys, let me just surf the case. I was trying to get it to me. Did you get me a watch yet? Hold on. Did you get me a watch yet, Steve? Almost. It's just hanging on the end. <laughs> Say hello, guys. Hello. West this is your daughter. Daughter, Christy Crawford. How you doing? She's already sold out of her knives. She had some little miniature axes and they're gone. That's awesome. Beautiful, guys. Sorry, guys. Don't mean to interrupt. Pick one up, pick up a knife, say hello. Uh, no, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you. Beautiful work. Thank you. Lovely Grace. Did you have a good show, honey? I did, uh -huh. thank Beautiful. you, yes. All Grace's stuff is gone. 
but she has a really nice table. Great, Jerry Fisk. Jerry, hello, brother. Hey, Bo, how are you? Good. Let me see what Jerry's got. What has he got? Man, Jerry's got it all. Holy smoke. First time I've engraved, uh, inlaid the gold and ivory. Jerry, how's the show? Good. Sold out within an hour. Say Jerry. hello to everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey. Hi, Mom. 2018 Jerry Fish. Jerry, always a pleasure. Thank you. You bet. Thanks. I'm at the Coopers. Say hello, guys. Hold on, meet you together. Hey, Joe. Hey. Good to see you. How are you? Sam, How's how the you show, doing guys? Him there? Uh, <laughs> We're as busy as we should be. Just wanted to say hi. Didn't want to miss you. All right. Okay. Jim Cooper. Hi. Say hi, guys. Hi. Cooper hey. family. <laughs> Let me get their sign. Great stuff. Best photos at the show. Thank you, Jim. All right. The great Dave Lish. Dave, how was the show? Talk loud, big guy. Ah, uh, Joe, the show has been great, like uh, always, every year. And this year, I couldn't even believe it. What, was there a line all the way out the door to get in the Disc and USA booth this morning? I have it on video. I mean, I was like, what the? the and it was, was for the Disc and oh USA Oh, my God, well, you guys sell out, what, an hour and a half? Was it a half hour? I have no knives oh, there was at all. No knives. Anyway. First day, we're done. Dave, all your knives are gone. All my knives are gone. Dave has a piece Except of where art I've got this. here. Art here. Now I'm going gonna, gonna, to zoom in while he starts explaining what we have. Go ahead, Dave. Okay, this is After Eden. This is a sculpture I made from a six inch steel ball, but you can see I pounded a face on it, cut it off, rolled it back, added some Damascus vines, Damascus teeth. A steel snake, and of course, if it's a skull, it's got to have a dagger in the head, right, Joe? It does. Yeah, it wouldn't be, a, wouldn't be right if it didn't have a dagger in the head. So this is my sculpture after eating. It needs a home. So uh, you know, I'm looking for suitors. And, uh, it's beautiful, buddy. Yeah, thank you very much. What Joe. a gorgeous Pleasure. piece. Let me. It's just great to have it here. It's beautiful, Dave. Joe, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Good seeing you. The great, good. incomparable yeah. Dave Lish. Thank you. All right, second day of the Blade Show. First interview, Goody Von Poppel, the famous, famous, oh, famous ooh, ooh, ooh. Dutch knife maker. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Goody, Goody always sells out real quick. He's doing these Navajas right now that I love. He has none to show us though, because they're gone. Uh, so that's what do you have? I have a kind of knife. This is my, uh, one of my bullet knives. It's a collaboration with uh, Gregory Paul. I made by Line Steel. Uh, I like I like the life very much. It's 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 almost better than uh, when I make one. But okay, this is a this is a production knife. Uh, what we're gonna do is uh, this is the prototype. Uh, maybe the blade will make it in the stone wash. Uh, I think a lot of people like this more. Now it's too clean and, and the finish of the of the edges is more more industrial and maybe it's nicer one that is a uh, yeah a stone wash finish. I'm nice. very happy with the knife. Have you had a good time? I have a lot of good time here. It's, it's perfect. I sleep in the Waverly. It's, we can go make party down. And Goody, we love when you come to the Discon booth. You are a friend. We appreciate everything, brother. Thank you, Thank you my friend. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Goody. Bye-bye. Ciao, everybody. Bring back a Navaja. Yeah, okay. The next time I bring back a Navaja. Okay, Goody found a Navaja. It's one that he's already sold, but let's take a look at it. Let me see. Hold it up, my brother. This Twist is what? it in the light like this toward me. There you go. There is Goody's Navaja, oh, one of my favorite folders of the show. Talk one second about it, Goody. Shoot. Thank you, my friend. Hold it up high. This is my Navaja. The name of the knife is Gitano, or well, Spanish for Gypsy. I love this knife. This is this is one of my favorite models that I ever made. It's 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 fast. It's light. It's it's yeah. It's art. Okay, I'll make this one full dress. With the uh, old uh, hand graving skulls, with the file work on the backspacer, with the with the stop for the for the spring, all kind of things. 
One, one piece of uh, clip. It's gorgeous. Let me lay it down. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank knife. you, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Goody. I appreciate it, brother. Thank yes, you, man. Thank you. you. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bro. USA booth 2018 blade show with my good buddy Greg Lightfoot. Greg is preeminent godfather of the tactical folder. Greg, how's the show? Right on, man. Good, Great good, show good, as good. usual. Greg's got everything sold as usual within a couple of minutes, but Greg brought one of his folders over. Hold it up high and talk really loud, Greg. This is after 30 years of doing this job, I come up with a model called the Legacy. It combines all the stuff from the past when I was doing full-blown tacticals into the more dress tactical stuff now. This one's got Mammoth Tusk, Floating Back Spacer, Custom Tanto Blade made from Damas Steel. Hold it up, Sweet, sweet ball bearing action, of course. Stainless Steel Lock Face. Probably can't see that, but it's in there. <laughs> Put your fingers. May I? Ladder lock? It's beautiful, man. Right on. Beautiful weight. Greg, how long have you been doing this? 30 years of fun. 30 years. So it, 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 that, that's the model called the Legacy. And I'm, I'm not pulling my chain or anything, but 30 years is a long freaking time in anything. And this is the culmination of all them years right here. All right, awesome. Diskin USA Booth Blade 2018, Greg Lightfoot. Right on. All right, I'm here with my buddy John Gray. John Gray and I live near each other, so we've grown to be quite good friends. John is taking the whole tactical knife storm by, by, by storm, I guess, right? The whole John, John is killing it. He's coming out with fantastic knives. I've been really into Warren Cliffs lately. So John made me this cool little Warren Cliff. I think we're going to do a series of these. Yes, we are. They're also going to be in titanium. This one is not titanium. We're going to do one out of titanium and some out of steel. So you can have a lightweight, no rusting version. And also, for those of you who want traditional, you know, stainless, I'm gonna have that also. John, what else do you have on you? Uh, Splitter flippers. Uh, Something a little different, a little recurve. Yeah. Pull it up here so you can see our faces. So, John is in the Disc in USA booth. Beautiful knife. Anything else, John? How's the show been? Great. Oh, my I just need a little sleep. I'll be better. Thank you, Diskin USA booth. John, all right. Diskin USA booth, Blade 2018. Every year we like to give out a plaque to the winner of the Blade Forms Best Buoy Contest. This year, it didn't get here in the mail on time, so we're going to end up mailing it to Franco. But Franco, with this tremendous D guard, won Blade Forms Best Buoy last year. So this is his temporary plaque. And just a good token, <laughs> Franco, it was an exceptionally great piece. You did an awesome job. Um, we have Mike Quisenberry here. Mike won last year's Blade for his best buoy. So in tradition, I'm going to get last year's winner to give the plaque to this year's winner. Congratulations. <laughs> and Franco did an awesome, I mean, it really, it was the best buoy last year. It really was. Incredible. Awesome. Thank you, Franco. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Really appreciate this moment. my friend. And brand new Master Smith. Yeah. And you know BRU. You got your yeah. Master Smith? Yeah. Thanks. Awesome. 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 So great year at Blade again. Thank you.
Hey, look at me, Franco. All right, I'm here with Franco and his beautiful wife. This has been the year of the Franco. Franco has won the BR Hughes Award. I'm gonna show you the dagger. He's got his Master Smith stamp, which is awesome. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna show you what Franco has on his table real quick. This is the dagger right here. That won the BR News Award. Franco also won Blade Forum's Best Buoy. There's his temporary plaque. The other one's in the mail. <laughs> but Franco's work is incredible, and he's so deserving of all the accolades he's getting. Franco, pick up the big dagger and tell us a little bit about it real quick. Talk really loud and hold it up close to your face so I can get you all in the same frame. So, hello friends. This is the dagger I presented on my MS test. One of the two daggers. This is the Queen Philo. It's made on micro-explosion pattern and, and frame with a twisted, a twisted pattern. The fittings are 1045 with black finish. The handle is ebony. Curve it with four fleur de lis. You can see four. Gorgeous. Handmade fleur de lis and some gold fittings. So gold rings here, 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 and here. And a beautiful crown of the queen. It's gorgeous, man. Thir that that 13 gorgeous. inches blade over. Beautiful. It's an honor to present to you this piece for Warrant of B. Hutch um, certificate. It's awesome. Franco, couldn't happen to a more talented better maker. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Congratulations. Sir. Thank you. And his beautiful wife. Thank you. Okay. This is Franco's buddy. What's your name? Andrea Klein. Andrea Klein. Okay. He is from Brazil. He is my brother. He is a journeyman smith from American Blade Smith Society. And he's doing very well work. And in the near future, he will be a master smith. Awesome, man. Awesome. Pleasure to meet you. Here's his work again. I was just in Brazil two years ago fishing. Yeah. Yeah. She has the best rivers all over the world. And the girls are nice too. Yeah. The all most right. beautiful Thank girls you guys. in the world. Appreciate it. There she is. <laughs> I'm at the incomparable Dave Lish's booth. There he is. Born showman. Dave, what do you got? Just hold it. Let me scan it. This is my ivory handled pierced tail buoy with my uh, flaming edge wow, Damascus. My flaming edge Damascus. Uh, Gold spacer, mosaic, Damascus. Um, just a really unique, one of a kind knife. The nice thing about my knife is you can hold on to them. You're not going to lose them, you know? And uh, you can get lost in the pattern, but you can't lose the knife. So uh, this is probably one of my most intricate and just extremely uh, complicated Damascus patterns I've made. It could, be, it could get a new home. Surprisingly enough, this one's still available. So yeah, but no Beautiful worries baby. there. Sold a bunch of them. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Joe. Is, this, is the skull getting any attention? Yes, the skull is getting attention. Knife making mayhem. Scott Blade. McGee, Blade 2018. Scott, how's the show? We did we, great. We sold out this morning. We don't have anything left. Just going to scan Scott's knives quick. This is the new thing this year is the pocket sheath for oh, the piranha. Very cool. Demonstrate. Very nice, Scott. Very nice. The incomparable Scott McGee. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, Jack. Appreciate it, brother. How you doing? All right, I'm at Ben Seward's table. Ben is not here, but his, but his lovely wife is. You got to look up and say hi, honey. There she is, Mrs. Seward. Thank you. Tell Ben I was here. Okay, 
Shane Taylor's table. Say hi, Shane. Hey, how are you doing? Good to see you, buddy. How's the show? Good. Doing good, real man. good. I'm interrupting everybody, but... That's uh, okay. I love the way that uh, moves around on you, stays so we can see it. So. It is. It's uh, very it's cool. Amazing. Coffee's allowed to be in it, Shane. Thank you, brother. Thank you. See you, man. <laughs> okay, say hi, Henry. Hello. Henry's got some beautiful stuff on his table. Nice hawks. You should send me one of them for the bow hunting season so I can trim branches with him. I make one for bow hunters. Uh, Do you? Yeah. How's the show been, brother? Yeah. Gorgeous. Thank you, Henry. Hanging out with weird people, Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I like how Say hello, brother. How you going, mate? Bruce Barrett. Barnett. What? Barnett. I can't hear anything. Barnett. I said that. You said Barrett. I said Barnett. That's better. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Bill Burke. Say hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Bill does make beautiful stuff. Excuse me. I'm sorry, man. This is my young son, Andrew. Very nice. I've only been making boulders for a year, so. Well, they look good, buddy. They look Thanks. good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Kevin Slattery from Australia. How's the show? Great. Love this it. This is your first blade show, right? First blade show. You having fun? Having fun. It's huge. It Huge. is big. It's big. I'm going to do a quick scan on his knives. Beautiful stuff. How's the show been, bud? Yeah, good. Loving it. All right, man. All right. Thank you, brother. You're good. Cheers. Appreciate it, man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> name is Adam DeRozier. Adam, how are you, buddy? I'm great. How are you? Beautiful. I'm going to scan Adam's knives. They're always <laughs> wonderful. They're Rodrigo's, but I'll take claim for them. Oh, these aren't yours? No. All right, these are Rodrigo's knives. This is not Adam's table. Where's your table? All right, these are Rodrigo's knives. We're going to go around to Adam the Practical I'll Joker's them. table. All right. All right, this is more what I was looking to do. Put this one in there, John. That one fell. That's beautiful. Ooh. Real slow. Adam, tell me a little bit about that knife, brother. Hold it up closer to your chin so I can get you all in the same frame. Talk loud. I had to kill and crush 12 fairies to get their wings pressed into this steel. So it cuts really good. Twist it this way. Right like that. Beautiful. God, that's gorgeous. Let me just scan the blade. Look at that pattern. Gorgeous. How's the show, brother? Awesome. Love the show. Good to see you. Always a pleasure, Adam. You know that. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. We'll get his wife. We can find him here. Thank you. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Brad Zinker's table. Did I say it correctly? Yep. You did. All right. How's the show, brother? Excellent. Great show. Adam, Adam, say hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the finest table in a knife show. Absolutely. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be back at the booth selling my knives? I am. Big Chris, buddy. What's going on, Joe? You didn't come see me yet. Oh, been busy. How are you, Chris? Doing wonderful. Let me get up here. 
What's up, brother? How's it going? I didn't, going? Even, I didn't oh. get to shake your hand right. <laughs> How's the show been, Chris? Excellent. Best good, play man. show yet. I love seeing you on TV, bud. Well, thank you. It was a good time. And I love that you mentioned Taper Tangs on there. Oh, Taper Tangs, where it's at. I wouldn't be doing Taper Tangs if it wasn't for you. Oh, thank you, buddy. <laughs> good seeing you, Chris. Good seeing you. Appreciate thank it, you, brother. All right, Disket USA booth here with Big Chris. Chris, is that the knife from the, the, the Knife for Death show? This is the knife I use on Knife for Death TV show. Very cool, buddy. You did awesome on that show. Thank Hold you. Hold it out a little bit. Let me just go right around it. What was it like being on the show? Did you have a good time? Oh, it was amazing. Amazing time, good time. It was a long day, but it was it was well worth it. Made a lot of good friends. Uh, it's, it's fun. I was very excited when I turned it on your own. I went and got my kids to come up, and I'm like, I know that dude. And then when you made the taper tang comment in the very beginning, <laughs> uh, it made me very happy. I started laughing. So Chris is just an awesome maker, doing, doing awesome stuff, and just represents the whole knife world. Really cool. Thank you, brother. Thank really you. Really appreciate everything. Man. Thank you. Okay, hold on. Diskin USA booth, my good buddy Sebastian. Show me the knife. Beautiful, bro. Thank you. So tell me about it. What do you want to know? What? What do you want to know? What's it made out of? Hold it up higher, closer to your face, so I can see it all in one frame. Oh, uh, well, you want to see my face. I love your face. <laughs> good. Oh, thanks, man. Beautiful, man. How have you been? I'm pretty good. So let me tell you what it's made out of. M390 blade steel, titanium handle. I did a little my thing on it, and yeah. Sebastian Borka, what is it? Borka blades, right? That's right. Beautiful, man. Thank Beautiful. you. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Myself and Claude Bouchonville are cruising around all the different booths. All right, Blade Show, 2018 Disc and USA booth. This is David Lespec, correct? Right. He comes from, tell me where you come from. Uh, he comes from South of France. He is a really super talented maker. I'm gonna swivel down to two of his pieces right here. Right here. Really, really nice. The handle feels great. And here's a fantastic folder. Could you, you two yeah. open it for me? So you got it. Go ahead. Beautiful. Good. Good. That's good, tilt a little bit back, right, right here for now. Gorgeous folder. I got now twisted. Beautiful. David, is this your first blade show? Yes. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes, it's great. That's huge. Well, <laughs> thank you for coming to the booth. And Thanks thank to you. you for showing. Thanks to you. Beautiful work. Appreciate thank it. You. Alright, Blade 2018 with Mike Quisenberry, a good friend of mine and the preemptive maker of probably some of the finest cutlery that is going on right now. Mike really owns the genre of high end. Um, just one about two years ago, Mike had did a, a main gouge that was incredible. Um, the silver work was done by St. Charles Dean. Okay, so two years later, the, the actual rapier is finished and it is just outstanding how long is the blade Mike the, the blade is 40 and a half inches overall length is 48 and a half inches the Got blade it. by itself weighs one pound one ounce overall weight is two pounds 15 and the balance point is about two and a half three inches in front of the cup Gorgeous. Do so you want to see the blade? Of course. Okay, let's see the blade. That's the fun part. Uh, I'll put that up underneath that light and let's scan. We'll, I'm going to walk right down it. 
Okay, starting at the hilt. Wow. Let's twist it back the other way. Probably should have wiped it down first. <laughs> okay. okay, twist it back the other, the other way this way. This way because now I can get some good patterns on it. What was the weight, Mike? Overall, two pounds 15. Wow. And it's, a, it's, a, it's a dancing little thing. Right? No, definitely. <laughs> definitely <laughs> impressive, Mike. Definitely impressive. How's the show been for you? Good show. Good show. Always as, good. As usual, Mike Quisenberry. Finest of the finest. Honestly, that's the finest rapier I've ever seen. Mike, thank you so much for coming over. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Joe. Tony Marfioni Jr., right, yeah, Heretic here we Knives. Go. Yeah, man. What's up, Tony? How so, are you, brother? Doing great. How are we doing? Good. What do you have? Well, I have a uh, cleric uh, splash here. Uh, this was a uh, collaboration we did with uh, Elevated Arms. Uh, this one features a carbon fiber backside and a uh, Cerakote purple splash. They were uh, limited to 78 pieces. We serialized them all. Hold it up close to your face so I get you all the same frame. You look good. Show was good? The show was fantastic. Best play show wife, ever. Jessica, yep. say hello. Hi. <laughs> Very cool. I'm going to buzz your knives, brother. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, Joe. Who were those really good looking, handsome dudes that helped you unload your truck? Oh, uh, well, they uh, they came over uh, and uh, they, they got that truck unloaded. The, one of them was named Joe. The other one had a last oh, name of Moralby. And uh, Diskin. Diskin. Looks Diskin. Great, dude. Somebody Diskin. I can't remember. But yeah, those guys. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> hey. Thank you. We'll Thank see you. Ya. Bye. Bye, guys. Good. Do, do something with your machine. What am I? What, what Say am I something. You're grinding something. Here we are with Travis. He loves Travis. Ew. You kind of caught me in transition. What do you want? I know. That's the best something? way to get you. Damn it. Yeah. Many of you don't know that Travis just isn't a reality TV star. <laughs> he actually has a real job. Here, let's just... How about this? Let's just... You have a real job, what do you do? I make grinders. How long have you been making grinders, Travis? About eight years, 2010. You gotta talk really loud, Travis. 2010! Alright. And why'd you make your own grinder, Travis? Yeah, I got tired of the other shit. Everybody in the industry uses Travis's grinders. Travis makes an awesome grinder. So. I got glasses. Go again. Go ahead. All right. Oh, there we go. Attention. <laughs> That's fine. All right. When you leave away from the grinder a little bit, it's not a bad idea to check a few things like retention. Talk loud. <laughs> All right. Now that that's done. All right. Let's make a knife. Why is that? Travis has also won Forged in Fire twice. Haven't you, Travis? Yep.
many people don't know, Travis was trained by none other than Tim Hancock, weren't you, Travis? Yeah, right. <laughs> you don't get a better teacher. Hold on, let's look at the camera. Swap this out. Snug. Grab my other one. Pour out this belly grinder. I don't want a belly grinder, but I built this grinder so I wouldn't have the belly grinder. So. Go ahead and just make this do a hollow grinder. Just make it do it easy. Many don't know, Travis was also, also an Arthur Murray dance instructor for many years. He's very light on his feet. That's totally horseshit. I didn't teach at Arthur Murray. <laughs> A little more. A little more. 
So that's great Travis Wirtz making a, at least rough grinding a knife in how long? I don't know, you got the camera. We'll watch it, we'll see. Thank you, buddy. Now Travis, what's the name of the grinders? What's the name of the company? DW90 Works Machine Works. Oh, awesome, bro. Thank you, Travis. Good job, dude. <laughs> what's your name, sir? My name's Xander Nichols. I'm 14 years old, and I have one of my favorite um, custom forged knives with me. This is a 52100 blade with a box elder handle. I just finished it up for the blade show. Awesome. You're very, very talented. It's a Thank beautiful you. knife. You, you got another one to show us? I do. So um, this one's a, also a 52100 blade with desert ironwood handle. And this is another one of the ones that I've been working on to finish up to take it here. So keep on building knives. Beautiful work. Thank you, Thank sir, you. very much. This is your yep. dad? Yeah. Yes. Get in there. <laughs> What's your dad's name? I'm Brian Nichols. You should be very proud. You make I'm knives? Incredi I do not. So your, your son's I'm, just a lot more talented than you He's a lot more are. talented than me. Yep. And me, too. I'm glad to support him. Thank you, dude. Beautiful night, yep. man. Thank, Thank you for taking you. the time to show it to me. Oh, yeah. Jason Knight. Great Jason Knight, and it was really good, man. Jason and I also just made this. It's actually available only at the Dark Timber Brotherhood. Hold up close by your pretty face. There's Peter Kohler. The Dark Timber Brotherhood on the on Facebook is the only place you can get this knife. We're actually doing a raffle. This video won't be up by then, but you missed out on something awesome. Uh, Jason, or where will the video be up by then? This won't be up for no, a couple days. Yeah. So J Jason, uh, I did the forging. Jason and I made the Damascus together. Jason did the fuller and swedge grind. I did the primary. Well, he actually, Jason did all this, that entry work. And then uh, I, I did the hand sand, heat treat, and he finished the knife and did the handle. So pretty excited about it. Um, really excited to be apprenticing under Jason now. Um, I feel bad for you. I don't. I, I, I love him. I think it's two kindred spirits. You know, we really make each other like. You two are. We, we have a, two we have a kindred great time. And he, he's taught me so much about geometry and um, and about intention. So I'm, I'm really lucky to be doing that. Well, always good to see Peter. Peter is an awesome maker. Peter, really, really. Hey man, did you see? Did you see something else special on the table? I, li I like the tomahawk. So this is a Mintec Tomahawk that we're doing. Uh, I, I'm a custom knife maker, but I also own a production knife company, so Dark Timber Knives. Um, this is one of our Tomahawks. All the knives that we have are gone right now. I do, you know, field knives, uh, woods knives, choppers, but um, I'm hoping that this will be out later on this year. And that one's mine? No, this is gonna come in a quarter inch. These ones were three eighths, and then I, had, I tapered all the tanks on them. To give them a little bit better balance, but very cool. Awesome. Show's been good, Peter. You're happy? Yeah, man. I, I, I'm at a better level than I was last year, and I've set myself up to you be at a better my, level you next got a year. Got Sabo on there? Yeah, that's what I was saying, man. Did you notice this? I did, man. I did. Uh, this, uh, you know, I'm gonna be in Belgium in November studying with Sam Lurkwin. 
So I'm really lucky. Sam and I have gotten closer and closer throughout the last couple years. We've done a lot for his family, for Taylee's, his niece, and uh, I'm excited to say that you know he's invited me up to come train with him in Belgium for a couple weeks in November. Um, I have some specific lessons I've asked Sam to work on me with. Uh, some heat treatment stuff. I would. I really want to talk to him about W2, but the focus is going to be on a Damascus pattern and really setting that width of blade to make a powerful knife with great distal taper. So, you know, I'm excited to work with him. Good seeing you, brother. Thank you. It's nice to see you too, man. Rick Marchand, Canadian maker, one of my favorite makers. He's made me a few knives over the years. They're always great. Rick is a phenomenal maker from Canada. Rick. Really nice. Take it, tell, you gotta talk loud and, and, and really loud. Really loud? Really loud, and tell us a little bit about it. This is my uh, Persian Bowie, uh, 52100, hand forged. Uh, carried a theme of uh, peening through here, so if you see the across the areas, that peening. The and great I a, Gavin a, Hawk is the cameraman. <laughs> hemp wrap, and maple wood that I peened with a burning tool. Um, He'll move in and out around you. He'll move in and out around He'll, He does what he's doing. He's young. Guard, guard has coining on it, same as the pommel cap. Tried to keep it, keep the same theme through the knife. Love making these big knives. And I love the way Joe talks about them. They are. This is a really, I mean, wicked knife. Rick's one of these guys that just has a, 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 an awesome, awesome design element to all his stuff. It's it's visceral. It, it's it's post-apocalyptic. It's it's just awesome. And I always say this, and it's going to happen. When they make the movie Blood Meridian, Rick Marchand is going to make the big Bowie knife that the big white pale judge guy uses to kill everybody. Right? Yeah. Exactly. He had he had um, knives in the movie Planet of the Apes. I've got another movie coming out too in 2019, but I can't tell you. But he's in the movie himself, and it's going to be one of those kind of movies. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing a knife. Awesome. Rick, always a pleasure. Thanks, Thanks Joe. Jeff. Thanks. Disc in USA. Gavin Hawks, the video guy. Wow. Shoot, go. This is What's the up? great James Williams. <laughs> this is our bladed action Williams blade design. Um, Design it. I want an axe that I could do a lot of serious stuff with. I'm going to take one tool. I want to be able to chop decent sized wood. I want to be able to skin it. I want to be able to use it as a skiff. Okay? I want to be able to skin an animal. Okay? I want to be able to pound with it. I want to be able to work all day, change different grips, pull down a Viking shield wall, or Antifa for that matter. And if I need it for defense, it was designed for that as well. So it's a collaboration with Daniel Winkler and it came out really good. It did, it did. Thank you, James, beautiful stuff. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thanks, Jim. All right, any Blade Show video would not be complete without my good friend Claude Bouchonville. Hello, Hello. Claude. Hello. How Hello, many Joe. knives did you bring? Fifteen. Beautiful. This is all that Claude has left on his table. Hold on. Beautiful. Pick one up. Pick one up. Is that your favorite one? Yes. Gorgeous. Hold it and tell me a little bit about it. Loud, Cloud. Uh, that's a new model. A higher. That's a new model made for a show. It's called Ursa Major. It's a W2 steel blade with hammer, um, carbon steel fittings, hot blue, and iron wood handle. Beautiful. Let me come in real quick. It's awesome. 
Claude, great seeing you, my brother. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Discon USA booth with the great Alan Aleshowitz. Say what's up, Alan. What's up? What do you got in your hand, Matt? Is that an Allen knife? Tetralog. Ooh. Alan, how things been, bro? Good. Good. You're happy? Yeah, I'm happy. How was the show? The show's good. I'm going to come around. We're just going to quick close up on the knife. Alan's tired. He ain't too chat. Let me, just, let me drop in on it. That's just the way I roll. Yeah. Man. Ooh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Matt. Matt is the host of all this stupid carny shit. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Okay, this is the pit on Saturday Night Blade 2018. This is where all the weirdos hang out at night. Elevator from the ninth floor to this mess. Descending to the pit. Oh, hold on, hold on. 